If you've got one of these little babies, uh, it's expensive and it can go wrong. It's a GTEC Multi K9. And the most annoying thing with it is it just won't switch on and off. Well, if that's the case, I can probably cure that within two minutes. Right, that's the easy one. The second one is if it does switch on and off, but it's not sucking, something could be jammed inside the pipe, but it's most likely in this pipe. And if you take it off, it's quite easy to see to get clean. If it's working, it's not sucking very well, it's probably all jammed up either in the bag on the filter or the machine itself, and they do get filthy inside. So first, on and off switch, let's get that fixed, and it will only take a couple of minutes. Here's the switch, and if you've got one of these, you know it well, but you push it as hard as you can, it won't come on. Or you can wiggle it, sometimes it does come on. Well, I've flipped mine off, uh, it's a little switch, just to look at it, you don't need to do that. And underneath, you will see, uh, there's a little um, button switch, so tiny, it's on the micro circuit, and that pushes in and out, there, like that. That starts the machine, but this is the most vulnerable piece of equipment because this little switch breaks off its soldering inside. Well, whatever happens to the unit, this unit here is not working, and that switch is obviously defunct. So, I'm going to pop it out, and for this you're going to need a flat screwdriver. There's a little hole here, a little ledge for it, and the screwdriver goes in there and wedges the switch out. It really is as simple as that. Now, it could be, if this is all intact and working well, all you need to do is clean here, these contacts, and clean this part inside, which is where the switch lays. You can see the three here. Now, you'll find that yours is probably full of dust. These could be dirty. Give them a wipe with a little bit of spirit, and this with a little bit of spirit, put it back, it may work. But the chances are it doesn't. What you'll need to do, quite simply, is order a new one. It comes in a box like this, and very simple to fit. You literally take it out of the box, there's your new switch, there's the, uh, what do you call that, a lug that goes in at the bottom, and then you push it in firmly. This machine is now mended and works perfectly. Such a quick mend. The only problem is you need this switch from GTEC. So we need to find the serial number, but the serial number at the bottom, as you can see, is the battery serial number. All the appliances, all the accessories have serial numbers. Here's the serial number of the Hoover, which is, uh, is at the top. So where do you find the model? Well. The model number is actually hidden behind the, uh, the waste bag bucket. It's on the inside of the machine. So remove the, the little thing which carries all the waste and there is your model number. Go to support, then you want floor products and find your machine. There is the handheld device we've been playing with. Uh, there's two, so make sure you get the right one. Spares and accessories will take us down to the switch. There it is, $12.99. Do you have to add on about four pounds postage? So just in case you think you can save yourself 20 pounds by resoldering this little switch, let me show you what's inside. Here's the LEDs that shine through this. It's just a plastic top and they sit inside the, uh, the switch. There's our little piece of switch. It goes on the bottom here of the PCB board and I've got to tell you I love mending stuff but there's no way I'm going to be able to solder that back on. If you think you can then good luck. Um, but that's exactly what you'd have to do if you want to save some money. Thanks for dropping by and I hope the film helped you. Uh, if it did please help me by dropping by and having a look at my books. I'm a novelist and I write crime fiction. Crime that happens on cruise ships so, cruise ship heist, cruise ship serial killer, cruise ship laundry wars, uh, which is about human trafficking, and uh, cruise ship art theft. Four great books, start with any of them, but cruise ship heist is the first one. Thanks very much. See you again soon.